So I just wanted to make a quick video about how to get autocomplete to work reliably. So I have a sample scene set up. Um, as you can see, I just have a world and a player scene, um, and each has a script attached. So here's my world script, here's my player script. And as you can see, I've uh, given my player script a class name called player. So if we come back to our world scene, um, and let's go ahead and uh, clear this up and let's drag out these two. So I'm just going to hold down control and select these two uh, and then I'm going to release control, drag them out and then hold down control again and let go and it'll fill out my on ready bars for me. And if I go to, for instance, area 2D, the autocomplete will pop up and if I hit the dot, you'll see all of the signals and functions and properties and, and everything else. Uh, and the same will go for the audio stream player. I hit dot, you can see there's finished and there's all the, there's play and all the other um, methods easily available. But as you can see, my player class is of type um, character body 2D, and I have a couple of methods I've extended it. So I've added a health variable and I've added, for instance, the deal damage function. Now, if I come back to my world um, and I drag out my players this time, I'm going to select them both with control, then uh, release control, then press control again, and release, and I've got my on ready bars all done for me. If I come here to do player, and I hit dot, as you can see, I don't have that, that damage function at all, and I don't have the, the health popping up. They're there, but they're not showing up, and why is that? The, the issue is that Godot um, is using GDScript, and GDScript is not a strongly typed language, which means unless Godot is 100% sure of what it's dealing with, it's going to think that it's just the nearest node possible, and that's that character body. So if we do look at our player uh, and we hit the dot, you'll see all of these functions are popping up from our um, character body 2D, but our, but our custom ones aren't working. And so how do we fix that? The easiest uh, thing you can do is um, using typing. So if you're not using typing, you should be. Um, there's a way in the editor to kind of make your life a little bit easier. It'll um, it'll uh, help finish. So if you come to, uh, sorry, just to show you again, if you come to editor and editor settings, and you come to um, uh, type, no, where is it? Uh, let's see. Uh, completion, yes. So if you come to um, editor, editor settings, and you scroll down here to text editor and completion, you'll see add type hints. Do check that on because that'll um, add all these things for you, makes your life a little bit easier. The other thing is it'll, um, it'll add the type for you. But if we look at our player, the first thing that's wrong is that the character body is reporting in this character body. So even though our scene, um, is, ex is character body, the script attached is extending character body, we've designated it a new class name player, but that um, is not getting added to, to it automatically. So let us go back to our world and let's fix that. We'll do pl um, player and we'll make it a class player rather than character body 2D. And now um, if we look at player, uh, we do have the um, pop-up that says deal damage and health. Now, this is sometimes not perfectly reliable. Um, so if you want to be extra sure, you can import this as player as well. Um, for instance, this time it's working, but sometimes it doesn't. Um, but uh, there you go. Um, what this does is it'll set the variable to player and declarative type player and um, the import node, it'll let Godot know that the node that's being imported is not a character body, which is what it's going to assume, but it's a player. So if you want to be extra sure, you can add this as. The other way that um, somebody uh, on Reddit uh, showed me, uh, and they asked the question, so here's deal damage, and then there's the health property. But if we look back at player two, we um, won't see those because, again, it's being uh, detected as a character body. But what we can do is come here. Uh, and go back to our world. 
and we can use these as export variables. So for instance, on a world node, I can have an export var um, up type, um, let's call it layer three. And we'll, knit, and we'll type it specifically to be player so it knows that it's a player. Uh, and now when we save it, oh, we're gonna have to pass here. <clears throat> now when I look at the world, uh, and I uh, come here to um, the world GD script, you can see, hey, there's a, there's a slot for a player, and I can go ahead and drag in player two, or rather, I can even drag in this completely new player scene. Oh, no, no, we got instantiated, so sorry. There's player three, and ah, world, and then I'm going to come here and drag in player three. And now that I've assigned it, um, you can uh, come here and look at player three and player three dot, and there's all our uh, custom functions and methods again. All right, I hope that was uh, simple and straightforward to get you going on your autocomplete. It's obviously such a helpful function to have. Um, so take care.